I'd like to share three nightmare scenarios with you. One, you're shopping for clothes in China. Number two, you're fooling around next to an elevator in China. And number three, you want to take an escalator in China. So what do these three things have in common? Well, it's quite simple, and it all has to do with maintenance. Lack of maintenance, and in fact, not lack of maintenance, malicious and willful cheating of maintenance. Now bear with me, I've got quite the story to tell you. But before we do, a quick word from today's sponsor. There are all sorts of ways to sabotage yourself. But one sure way to sabotage yourself is to not use a VPN when you're using a public Wi-Fi network. But VPNs aren't just about safety and keeping your data safe. No, they're incredibly useful for various other tasks too. They also help you beat price discrimination. Yes, companies will charge you a different rate depending on your location in the world. So changing your location in your VPN gives you the option to get a better deal. On top of that, you can also watch shows that are blocked in your region. Surfshark is an incredibly cool way to keep your internet experience safe. And now you can get up to three additional months for free if you go to surfshark.deal slash serpentza and use the code serpentza. Again, go to surfshark.deal slash serpentza to get up to three additional months for free. And now back to the show. So it has been revealed this past week that an elevator maintenance company in Xiamen has been tricking people into thinking that maintenance has been done on elevators. Now, this is no surprise to me, okay? Maintenance, when it comes to elevator maintenance in China, it's a joke. I've lived in buildings where it's simply not done, but they'll get a guy who comes and rubber stamps it and says, oh, maintenance was done, and they just sign it off without any maintenance actually having been done. I was once in an elevator that free fell for about four floors before the emergency brakes cut in and stopped it. It was terrifying. My friend who owned an apartment in a building, the elevator collapsed with an entire family inside. Luckily, nobody was seriously injured. This is quite a common occurrence. You can look it up. Elevators in China are a nightmare. They cut people in half. People fall down them. The doors malfunction. It's, it's, it's quite terrifying. If you want to actually start looking into it, you'll be scared. It'll probably put you off riding elevators for life. The thing is, this company in Xiamen shows you exactly why these problems happen, because they don't have to. You see, on paper, there are lots of laws in China and regulations in China which should theoretically ensure the maintenance and safety of elevators and many things in society. And one of the stipulations when it comes to maintaining elevators is that you have two technicians doing it at all times. So what did this company in Xiamen decide to do? Well, in order to cut costs, instead of having two maintenance workers, they would only get one maintenance worker to go out there and he would carry a cardboard cutout of another man. I'm not even making this up. This is no joke. Here you can see the footage yourself. Because how it works is you have to upload to like a supervisory board, you know, the, the maintenance being done. And what will happen is you have to take photos to prove that there are two people here. So the one worker would put the cardboard cutout there, take a photo of the cardboard cutout, and then upload it to the sort of supervisory board in... You know, it's like, there we go, two people here doing the job, it's all okay, pass, they get paid, and uh, whatever else. Now, the problem is, is that somebody noticed that the expression on the face of one of these workers seemed a little stiff and a little unrealistic. And so started to do a little bit of digging into this whole thing and see what was going on. And it turns out that this company had been doing this for a very long time. In fact, they found at least six or seven uh, instances where they had done this. Of course, there's lots more than this, but this is what they found in their brief investigation. And it was pretty sophisticated. They even had 
different clothing for these cardboard cutouts, depending on the weather. So if it was a, a hot day, they had a short-sleeved uh, version of this uh, this mannequin or this cardboard mannequin they could stick in the in the corner there and kind of get an angled shot to to prove that there are two people in there. Um, and they had a long sleeve one as well. Uh, absolutely insane. Now, it doesn't stop there because you could think, okay, they're just trying to cut costs. They're trying to cut corners here. So they don't want to have two maintenance staff on board, only one. So, you know, they replace that one with a cardboard cutout. Okay, it's scummy, but fair play. At least they're still doing their job. Well, no, because when uh, the investigators followed up and looked at this uh, particular um, elevator that was supposedly maintained, this one that you can see in the footage, they found out that it hadn't been maintained. That the self-lubing uh, system, you know, it has like a like an oil reservoir, was empty. And in fact, the uh, elevator was being affected. The smooth operation of the elevator was being affected by the fact that there wasn't enough lubricant. And they also found a lot of dirt and debris blocking various vital parts of the door opening and closing mechanism, things like this. Things that should have been done during a general maintenance. So you see, it's this crazy situation. This is just proof of this, okay? Because I've talked about this a lot, especially on The China Show, we talk about the fact that there's a very bad uh, culture of maintenance in China. I mean, you could just look around. If you look at the buildings, the paint's always peeling or there's always uh, rust stains or you just take a look at people's vehicles, like the tricycles and the, the various things that people are riding around, e-bikes and uh, bicycles, motorbikes, anything. They're always in bad shape. They get bought brand new, and then that's it. They're never maintained unless something breaks and has to be replaced. Uh, and I think it has something to do with the whole communist idea of things don't belong to you. So people just don't take pride in their own belongings. And if you live in a uh, an apartment complex, you don't really care about the outside of it because it doesn't belong to you. You only care about the interior. So, you know, I, I could never accept that, but a lot of people do just accept the fact that the walls outside look absolutely hideous and filthy and disgusting and aren't painted or are full of mold and rust because, hey, you know what? Not my problem doesn't belong to me. So this extends, of course, to things like maintaining uh, elevators and escalators. And unfortunately, because of this very lax attitude uh, and almost willful um, disdain for maintenance, we've seen a lot of unnecessary deaths and injuries in China, specifically with regards to elevators and escalators. And of course, things like the floors collapsing or just tofu dreg buildings, things falling apart. It's all part of the same root problem. And that root problem is people would rather cheat than do the work. And it's crazy to me because the amount of effort that goes into cheating you know, for instance, what this company did, actually carting around a fake cardboard man to set up and making all these different cardboard men with different clothes for the weather and so on. The amount of effort that goes into that, why not just do the job properly? Why not just go and do the maintenance? It seems like it's almost the same amount of work because you're still climbing in there to prop up this cardboard guy to take a photo. Hey, you're in there. Maybe just do the job you're supposed to be doing while you're there. You know, that type of thing. It's ridiculous. So this is just a short and sweet little video to really point out a problem that definitely exists in China. This story highlights something I've been talking about for years. And it certainly is a big part of China that could really improve. Because what are you doing by cheating the maintenance schedules and bribing people to stamp something rather than getting the work done? All you're doing is putting Chinese citizens in danger. All you're doing is putting the people of China in danger. So here's the thing. Do better, China. Now, a quick follow-up. I don't usually do this, but a quick follow-up on my video last week about murder season in China. You know, after I released that video, there was another mass murder in Beijing. Also, a guy driving his car into a crowd of people. And I just wanted to update you to let you know that this kind of stuff isn't slowing down. So it's an important video. If you haven't checked it out, please do. Link is in the description. And uh, also, Friday, I have a live show, which is a lot of fun. So if you're looking for something a bit more lighthearted, where I, me and my friend talk about China, the news and the funny stuff and the crazy propaganda and all the other nonsense in between, please come and join us. Again, link is in the description below. And until next time, guys, you know the drill. As always, unlike these fake, scammy maintenance idiots, stay awesome.